Happy birthday, you old goat. <laughs> how, how fun is this? Have you done the penny spinner cards? Spinner cards have been around for a long time, but using them with the slimline style gives you an even longer track to run on. So there's one card, here's another one. How about some fancy downhill skiing? And this says, tis the season to be freezing and we, and we're gonna do the, we'll do the little <laughs> runs down the end. And I love this card. This is a perfect one, you know, for that friend who just is doing too much in the holiday season and just can't relax and trying to just do it all, be it all and everything. It says, don't let your tinsel get in a tangle. This is like a, a slow down reminder, but you know, you just can feel like that, like you're just going a million miles an hour. <laughs> and then to just show these have been around a long time. I made this one a few years ago with a flying pig and the congratulations. And it, um, it needs to be loosened a little because it's been jam-packed in my, you know, it, it's a card I just kept for the idea because I knew it would come around again. Okay, so, so it'll come, but it's just had a little bit of pressing issues. <laughs> so this is what we're going to make tomorrow. So tomorrow, today. <laughs> and it's Karen from Sammy on the Back Porch, and we will get started. So my base card is 9 inches by 7 inches, and it's scored in half along the seven inch side so this is three and a half so when it's scored now my card base is nine inches by three and a half so the layer I will cut for next to go under it is going to be eight and three quarters by three and one quarter and then my top layer and this is the layer we will be putting the slits through this is eight and a half by three inches so this one we're going to use. Now I am using the Thicker Whisper White and I'm also adding another layer to it. I like this to be thicker because it'll just kind of stand up. I just find it, it just kind of keeps better. So we're going to, um, and so the pieces of paper that I'm using are from Artistry Blooms. I use that on the goat card too. And I just together, they're going to be three inches. So these can be really cut it any okay i'm gonna try to get one right along the edge there whoa this is where a silicone mat would be really smart i wouldn't deal with that so a little plug for what i i've forgotten to just i usually keep one on the table but and <laughs> actually there might be one on the table i just can't find it okay so now this is going to be my base and i'm going to take Two post-it notes of this size. And again, I could use anything, but I'm gonna, this is gonna be my markers for how far I want the, the runner to go. Okay, so now I will take my cutter and I'm going to just do two lines from here to here and they're gonna be a quarter inch apart. And I don't, really care where they are. So let's see, I'm going to just put them, I'm gonna do one and a half inches right there just because it'll be easy to find the quarter inch. Make sure it's lined up straight. And this is over a little too much. I gotta put that right there. I'm gonna stand up. So hopefully I can see where I'm going, but you know my motto, good enough is good enough on, on a lot of things. I get a lot more done that way. And then I'm gonna move it over a quarter of an inch and we're gonna do the same thing here. So you can see I did the same thing then on a slant for the hill, but using this, you know, these could go a little further, they could be shorter. So it's just an easy way to think of doing that. I'll take off my post-it notes, put them back on my pad since I can reuse them. Put a slit right here. Now I'm just gonna fold these way back, cut it off, fold this one way back, okay so here's my little slider, here is going to be my zany zebra, and now I'm gonna take pennies, so I'm gonna do, oh look I've got a decent looking one and a terrible looking one. But you know, no one's ever gonna know if they don't take my card apart. 
and I'm going to put a mini Stampin' Dimensional right in the middle there. And I'm gonna put that right through the hole. And then I'll put my zebra, whoops, <laughs> I won't put my zebra on top. I will put, oh, I'm gonna do that again. Um, sometimes I make mistakes on purpose, but not usually. <laughs> I just get a little sidetracked here. Okay, so we're gonna see, I'm gonna put that on again without making sure it's not touching the edges. And it's my penny that goes on top. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Works much better when you take the little tag off. And then I'm gonna put more little dimensionals, like three right here. Tim, my cameraman, you know, is uh, laughing at me, so that really helps a lot. Just, yes, you know, just a, a shout out to him. <laughs> I tell him, you can't go far, because my videos aren't that long. <laughs> I'm ready to have them off. You know, I, I'm, I just, oh, and look what else. I meant to put cut a little around his mouth, so let's do that now. Um, better now than once he's on. That'll be a lost cause. Okay, then I'm gonna put my zebra on and we're gonna make sure he twirls. Oh, cool. How cool is that? And you, Okay, now to put it on the card, I'm going to use the foam adhesive strips. And they, these are in the catalog. I'll put in the show notes what, what page they're on. But you can see I measured my card and then I just cut right here because this is how long I want them. So now I can just take some off. So I will be putting one right along the edge down here. And then I'll take another and put it right around here. And then I will do two more at the top one there and I could have probably put one a little closer here and spaced these and done three but you know this will work okay I put those in we just want to make sure they won't get in the way of the penny rolling okay good oh that's that's perfect okay now I will peel these strips off so I hope your mind is thinking about what stamps or what you know a pinwheel has always been a fun thing to put on this a spinning pinwheel uh, all, all kinds of things would be fun okay now I'm gonna put this on and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna look at this because once this is on it is staying so if it goes on crooked I will live with it crooked and then I will just slant it on the other card a little bit oh how fun oh it's gonna it's gonna be cute now I just have to work with the I have to work with them a little here I got to do it looking at me okay okay and I'm gonna start okay there we go okay we'll we'll get there oh there we go <laughs> sometimes it just takes a little playing to kind of get it to get it all going but you know the others were just perfect so I'm sure this one will be too <laughs> then I will put this on the main card and I am going to use Blue dots for that. Just come around and pop these on. I am kind of the glue dot. I don't know. I, I love using glue dots. They're just non messy. I can do them sitting in my chair. So I, I tend to use them a lot. And on my base card, I'm going to use Gorgeous Grape. And I'm just pulling colors. People always say, How do you choose colors? I'm just pulling them right out of the designer series paper. This is Gorgeous Grape and um, that new bright pink, <laughs> whatever that one. And then I will add um, some birthday words to this, but okay, but how fun. Now, of course, since this is the one I made on here, this is the one I'm gonna have trouble right now um, doing because that's just that's just how live, how, how live TV works, but uh, live TV. <laughs> okay, but see, it will, it will go and I might just have them a little unbalanced. And if that's the case, and you know what? That really might be the case. I might need to put him more in the middle there. Isn't that fun though? Because we can just um, learn something new all the time. Okay, now. Okay, now, now, okay, now, let get him go. Okay, once he gets going, he's gonna be fine. Oh, there we go. It does work. I'll add the words and he'll be done. Meanwhile, let's go back to this old goat one. 
The, these are just really fun to make. Isn't that cool? I mean, it's, it is really fun. Okay, and to do the envelopes, this is all we've done. They're business envelopes. Take a bit of the paper. So this will have the same goat paper. And I am putting a little on the top right here. And this just lets the recipient know there is something really cool in here. It's not a business envelope with a business thing in it. Cut around this. So I have a whole series of slimline cards right on the side here if you want to see more about this. And otherwise, uh, thanks for watching, and I'd love to see your slimline cards over in the back porch stamper. So quick thing, these are the ones we did. The goat, the goat, the goat, the skier, and now the zebra, and the pig. So five cards. Thanks for watching.